What I want to do today is to consider the two items of evidence that are most frequently given for Trump being a dictator and look at them a little more closely. The first one is where Trump was asked about being a dictator and he said half jokingly, uh, yeah, if elected, I, uh, I'm not going to be a dictator. He said, well, maybe for one day. That was Trump. And uh, obviously, Trump is being Trump. He's whimsical. He jokes. He does things like that. He trolls the other side. He knows that he can say things that will get to them, get under their skin, annoy them. By the way, he does this in, in other areas, too. Uh, hey, Trump, are you going to... Trump is never going to leave office. And then Trump puts out memes, Trump 24, Trump 28, Trump 32, Trump, Trump 36. Now, obviously, think of how the, the obvious humor is in the fact that Trump isn't going to be around in 36 or in 40 or in 42. So the, the memes are, have a certain fanciful quality to them. That's the first point. But even if Trump is half joking, the point is, well, maybe the other half part of him isn't joking. Well, here is the other uh, exhibit, and this exhibit has actually been put out by Kamala Harris herself. Trump did write the following on Truth Social. Do you know that the presidential election results of 2020, do you throw the presidential re election results of 2020 out, out in all caps, and declare the all caps rightful winner, or do you have a new election? And then Trump says something rather startling, even to those of us who are supporters of Trump. He says this, a massive fraud of this type and magnitude allows for the termination of all rules, regulations and articles, even those found in the Constitution. So what is Trump saying here? He appears to be saying that there are times when even the Constitution needs to be set aside. And this has caused many people to go, aha, Look over here. Anybody who would set aside the Constitution for any reason is a kind of a dictator. Now, what's really interesting is that this exact same charge was made against Abraham Lincoln. It was made against Abraham Lincoln not uh, when he was being uh, campaigning, not even right after he was elected. It was when Lincoln suspended habeas corpus at the outbreak of the Civil War. Lincoln suspended habeas corpus, which is a basic right in the Constitution. It's essentially a due process of law type of right. And the Constitution couldn't, the Constitution is actually quite clear. The Constitution gives Congress the power in a national emergency to suspend habeas corpus. It does not give that power to the president. And yet, Lincoln, without the support of Congress, went ahead and exercised that right.